Hey Tubes, we got something pretty interesting here for you today. I think this is going to be the first time you're seeing this because I'm going to do two videos. One to just uh, talking about it a little bit and uh, testing it out. And then the other video I'm actually going to take it apart and show you how it works because it's pretty cool. But either way, this is something I found at the scrapyard about two weeks ago. There's, there's usually a lot of cool stuff up there. Usually, you know, you see generators and military surplus equipment of that nature. And so I was looking around, and there was this little three-cylinder, I can't remember how big it was, little Lister Petter generator diesel that small engine mechanic was looking at. And I was looking at that, and then I saw behind this little thing. So I've heard, the first time I saw it, I actually saw it from behind. I saw there's like an inch and a quarter exhaust flange on I didn't know what it was, some kind of pipe coming out the back. And then it didn't have the hose hooked up to it, but there's like a flare fitting on it. So I was thinking it was a little one-cylinder generator, like those little Hondas, except a, a military version. But then I looked in the front, and it didn't look like any kind of a generator to me. You got that funny-looking uh, tin can in there and all kinds of stuff. You got a couple different uh, things for equipment here as far as what you hook up to it. You got power and your thermo. So the thermostat was a good indicator, as was the, uh, the plate on here that says heater. That it was in fact a space heater and what got me interested was it says moldy fuel so anything moldy fuel is kind of neat you know whether you can not, not that not that i actually need it but just the fact that i know i can put anything in it and it'll burn it is pretty cool so i picked it up and it, it actually says the weight on the side the weight about 40 pounds and uh so i bought it it was only 20 bucks 50 cents a pound and uh so I, i've just been messing around with it but it's real neat the way it works and like i say i'm going to save that for another video because there's a lot to it and i don't want to take uh a 10 minute video just to run it for two minutes uh, to test it out at the end but it's real simple to operate uh, it's got its own fuel pump so you can see I got my fuel line coming down here going into my uh, blue caro can there and then the exhaust I did run outside now I'm not actually certain if you need to do that I don't really know what the application was here I know they call it a space heater but I'm not sure what kind of space they would heat with it I did some reading on the internet and it actually looked like they threw it in the back of those, I, I think it was an M35, they called it a van, but it's really like one of those big, uh, like a deuce and a half with the back all uh, canvassed in. So I think they might have used it to heat in the back of them, not <clears throat> not sure, but I don't know if they would have taken the exhaust and put it into the uh, truck's exhaust, or I saw one of these on eBay, it actually had like a, a thing coming up and going out like this, it looked like a, a muffler almost, it had a little thing on the top. So I don't know what the story with that was, because they are quite noisy when you run them uh, without the exhaust. Because uh, the, the interesting thing is, unlike a kerosene heater, this is like a, this is more like an oil burner uh, you, you find in your house, because it, it's a sealed combustion chamber, and your exhaust goes outside, and then the uh, blower motor just blows air right past the uh, through these spaces here, and it puts out a lot of heat. It says it's 15,000 BTUs, but either way, I'm going to test it out for you here. I, I don't know what I'm going to do in the future with it. I'd like to get it set up to heat up the garage, but it's real noisy, you'll see. I'm not going to be able to talk while it's running. Uh, but what you do is you flip the switch here, and what that does is it starts the preheating process. Because the way that it works and burns moldy fuels is instead of having a high pressure fuel, fuel pump, excuse me there, uh, it actually vaporizes the fuel. It's got a, a fuel evaporator in there, which is pretty cool the way that works. And then, and then uh, that just goes right into the uh, combustion chamber, and then you got a glow plug in there. So that's what's happening right now. It's preheating the glow plug and the fuel. And so as soon as it gets up to temperature, you hear the blower kick on. You might be able to hear when the burner actually uh, ignites. You might not be able to hear that. And then shortly thereafter, you'll see the uh, combustor start to get red hot. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen either, because I'm actually running jet fuel. So that might burn hotter. I'm, I'm not too sure about that. But either way, it should be. Here it goes. Yeah, it's ignited now. Like I say, I'll try not to talk too much because it's loud. But, uh, excuse my auxiliary lights here. The fluorescents weren't working. But I'm going to shut this off so you can see the combustor starting to get red. There you go. You can see that. And it'll, it'll get more red than that after a couple of minutes. It'll get all, almost red all the way through. Not, not so bright, but... It, uh, it puts out a lot of heat, you know. There's no way for me to show that through the video. But I'll tell you, it, this could heat up the garage real fast. So what I'm thinking about doing is, uh, I know I said I wasn't going to talk, but I'll back up here so you can hear me. What I'm thinking about doing is putting it outside and running a duct in. The only problem with that is that the, it'll be sucking in cold air, take a lot more energy to heat it up. But we were thinking we could run a duct for the intake too, but... We'll figure it out because it's neat. It's just so noisy. 
and you, you can probably hear in the video it, it's, it's just too loud to be running you know let me go outside I'll show you the exhaust so we come back inside here you can see now it's starting to get pretty hot now the um, all the pieces out are glowing at least a little bit and that's about as hot as it'll run now the interesting thing is is that piece there with the circle in it the, uh, the, the front plate there I actually made it didn't come with it but the ones on the internet had it so what I figured is I would say you could hook a duct up to it some of the different models some of them uh, there, there's like a 28 volt version this one this one runs right off the 120 but the 28 volt version that had more like just a grill on the front like you weren't gonna uh, hook it up to something but either way the two, the two things I noticed are that it's twice as loud with that cover on there and then the other thing is is that that uh, combustor does get hotter so I guess the air is it gets directed over it more but it still gets hotter so I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or not because I want the combustor to last I don't want it to burn through but either way I think we're going to shut it down now because there's really nothing uh, nothing else for you guys to see but I'll tell you it's real warm I mean I can barely hold my hand in front of it right there it's pretty hot so what we'll do is we, if we put the switch off that shuts off the burner and you can see that the uh, combustor is cooling down now and starting to lose its glow because the, the blower will keep going until it cools down enough I guess so that it doesn't overheat and start a fire so I'm going to wait till that shuts down and then uh, I'll do my closing remarks alright she's a little bit quieter now but that's about it I think, it, I think it's a real neat uh, piece of equipment and it definitely puts out a ton of heat and there's a lot of stuff I could do with it. Right now I got the uh, thermostat jumped with a piece of wire, but I could hook up a thermostat to it. I'm sure I can find those connectors on the internet. And then maybe set it up in the window or something. And figure as long as I figure out a way to get the exhaust outside and put a duct on there so the air is a little bit quieter coming out of it, I think it will be a great heater. Not sure how much fuel burns yet. I haven't used it enough. It's, it's used some fuel. I checked my can. It was full when I started, and it was about maybe 30 of the way down. But I, I was running it for a while, so I think it does all right on fuel, but only time will tell with that. But that's about it. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. We'll take it apart and uh, take a peek inside. All right, Tubes, thanks for watching.